The word champion, it's associated with us a lot. We've won the world championships 20 times, but it's not about that. It's not the hundredth blow of the ax that knocked down the tree, it's the 99 that came before it. It's aiming to be the best that you can be. Being kinder to each other, being a better person out in the world, and we may start selfish, but we can develop to be selfless, then the champion aspect takes care of itself. We've been going every day rehearsal for over three weeks now. And you know, this week um, we're very fortunate to have some Con Selmer artists come in and hang out with us a little bit. Even the artists, they're pretty excited about it. Some of them probably have never seen drum corps at this level before. And so they're checking it out going, what is happening? The collaboration is awesome when you bring in pros from the other musical world, bring them into our world. And uh, we are gonna do a performance tomorrow night with everybody and I'm looking forward to it. The collaboration between the performers uh, and the staff and the designers is like a huge core part of what we do at the Blue Devils. Getting to do that on a different scale with these guest artists and bringing their professionalism and doing it in the time frame that is so compressed to do this performance on Saturday night is a really amazing thing to witness. Having these artists here that have different backgrounds and different skill sets further enhances what we're trying to do here from an educational standpoint. It kind of shows them that you can do music the way you want to do it. There's not really one cookie cutter approach to being a musician. It's so refreshing to see the members of the Blue Devils get so excited about hanging out and playing with these pros. We're very fortunate that one of the Hans Summer artists, Ralph Nader, marched Blue Devils. He's a celebrity snare drummer now, and it's so good to see him still do what he loves to do. And the fact that, uh, it breaks my heart, the fact that he's still doing drumming. Oh man, sorry, I was getting a little emotional over here because um, it's good to be back and to see family. As marching snare artists, we're basically making history. This is, for me, a blast from the past. I was excited when I was in high school, first doing drumline. We all wanted to be a Blue Devil, like that's what we looked up to. This is some, some stuff that I've never thought I'd ever be a part of. Well, I found it so impressive to see all the different moving parts and how much of a team the Blue Devils are. Like, they're not just performing, they're doing moving and the loading of equipment, they're helping each other. They're constantly working in groups. That's really impressive to me. I've never been able to hear a DCI group in person before, so this was a really, really great experience because I've been watching videos of Blue Devils for years and years and years. They have that sound, and it's all just put together and so technically proficient. It's just a really beautiful experience. I was trying to hold back tears because it was such a beautiful sound. Everybody comes from a different background, everybody comes from a different style of music, and it's just amazing how much camaraderie we have, how much we can kind of get out of each other. It's really amazing to learn from each other, learn from the Blue Devils, learn from the instructors, learn from the other artists. It's just an infinite amount of knowledge. So we're playing two pieces tonight with the Blue Devils, and one is When a Man Loves a Woman, uh, which the Blue Devils have been playing for years. I think they first performed it in 1993. And then the second thing that we're playing is an excerpt from their 2023 show. At the beginning, we were learning as much as we can with the score, trumpet solo parts, and it's not until we get down on the field, hey, we're gonna do this. Okay, so you gotta keep adjusting, but we gotta be good enough to just do whatever's asked of us and do it great because we're representing Bach, we're representing ourselves. And because the kids sound so great too, the Blue Devils are just the top of the top. So, you know, when we're there, we're like, all right, we gotta, what are we gonna add to that, you know? There is a anxious nervousness to nail things. Seeing the excitement in the students that they get to talk with us and learn from us, it's equally as beneficial to us just to be able to give back because of all the people that have helped us along the way. That's what music's all about, is everybody coming together and finding the music that we can all play together without an ego, without, all right, I'm gonna do this and you know, your background or whatever, you know, there's none of that here. Art, Danny, Harvey, and Ralph, you think, damn, it's got chops, just chops for days, and all of them do. But you also see the personality in their playing by getting to know them. It's a good experience for us and the students to come together and just meet in the middle. You never could completely understand what it's going to be until it's happening. Working with Scott, it's like, go, go, go. Today, the confidence level of the group and the staff was like, yeah, we know y'all got it, because they see that we just need to get it in our hands. So one of the pieces I'm playing is an original composition by Mario, the guitarist, and Mikey, the drummer. They just got together and created this awesome piece. 
It starts out with like a soft intro where I can do some vibraphone and some bells, and then it goes right into like some heavy metal, like really syncopated and like technical hits and stuff. That's the first piece, and then the second piece I get to play is very percussive. It has these elements of Brazilian or like New Orleans style grooves. There's a lot of percussion, there's a lot of space in there to have a voice and get creative and do embellishments. I was like super excited about the selections because they're amazing pieces. The first time I sat with the front ensemble with you and working on stuff, it kind of like shook me, man. It, it scared me. I was like, what am I doing here? Like, why am I here? That piece that we added with the drum breaks and each of us having our own like flavor and having a piece, it had become so fun and I'm looking and she goes first and I rip and then Mikey rips and it's like, whoa, like that's a moment. And then they learn Lamb of God songs like nothing and I think we rehearsed it one time. So I'm stoked to just do it. The confidence that they give me and like, yeah, like that's a good idea. And like, I felt so much better communicating with my peers and the kids. We're Blue Devils now, and like it's so exciting and it's a dream come true, for real. This journey of being a champion is about being the best version of yourself. It's self-discipline, it's sacrifice, it's persistence. Somebody who's able to fulfill themselves and also positively affect others. So being a champion is having the desire to be great, the desire to be the best at something that you can be. To be a champion, it takes vulnerability and mistakes and having to like clear away all that wreckage and be able to come back and be humble, to really leave a stamp of inspiration and to allow that dream to thrive.